video, page 303, these numbers right here. Let's jump right into this for numbers 19, 21, and 23. The directions say to write the equation of a line in point slope form. So first of all, please remember the model we use is y minus y subscript 1 equals m parentheses x minus x subscript 1, okay? So there's the model that we use, alright? And uh, here we go. In order to use this model, you have to have a point, and you have to have the slope, okay? Well, the point is obviously a point that lies on this blue line is obviously 1, negative 1, negative 3, okay? So there's your x, here's your y. Now the slope is rise over run. Here's your rise, here's your run, okay? So 1 over 2. Now, from left to right, the line is sloping downward, so we know our slope is negative. So here we go. We have a point, we have the slope, we are now ready to use this formula right here. So y minus your y, which is x is negative 3, negative 3. So y minus y, which is negative 3, equals m, negative 1 half, x minus x is negative 1. So we have y plus 3 equals negative 1 half x plus 1, and we're finished. That's it. Now, if I asked you to write the equation in slope-intercept form, then you would take the 1 half, negative 1 half, you would multiply it through, and move this over, and get y by itself. But, I simply asked you to write your linear equation in point slope form, and this is points slope form. Sorry for yawning. We have a y, then a number, then an equal sign, then a number, then a parentheses with an x, and a number here. Okay? 21, same thing. We're going to write the linear equation on the line that passes through these two points. And we're going to write it in um, point slope form. So, we need a point, okay, and we need the slope. Now we have a we have a point. We actually have two points, and you can choose either one, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do this two ways just to show you something here. Okay. Okay, now my slope, of course, would be y minus y. So minus y over x minus x. Okay? So, this would be a positive 5. So, positive 10. This would be a positive 1. So, a positive 2 gives us a positive 5. So, my slope is 5. Now, we are going to write equation in point slope form. First, it does not matter which point you use, you just pick one, okay? So I'm going to pick this point here, and I would have y minus my y, which is 5, equals m, which is 5, x minus x, which is 1, and I'm finished. There's nothing else to do. That's it. Okay? Now, that is a great, acceptable answer. Nothing wrong with that. But, if you chose to use this point here, then you would get a different answer. You would get y minus negative 5 equals 5 parentheses x minus x 
which is negative 1. So your final answer would be y plus 5 equals 5 parentheses x plus 1. Some students on a test or a quiz, I would accept either one of those two answers, okay? Either one of those are fine. And by the way, did you know they're the exact same equation? Let me prove that to you. Let's get y by itself real quick here, okay? you get the exact same equation. So when you simplify this, you get this. When you simplify this, you get this. The exact same equation. Okay, so if I asked you to write an equation in point slope form, in this, in this case here, I would give you full credit for this answer or this answer here, either one is fine. Okay, 23, same thing. We're going to use our same model, okay, right there. But before I do that, let's find our slope first. y minus y, 10, negative 3, over x minus x. So negative 9, negative 4, that would give me... 10, positive 3, negative 9, positive 4, which would give me 13 over negative 5, a positive over a negative is negative, and 13 over 5 cannot be reduced. So there's my slope right there, okay? So the slope of the line that passes through these two points here is negative 13 fifths. Okay? Now, we're going to write the equation of the line that passes to these two points in the point slope form. So, um, let's use this point first here. We'll use this point here y minus y, which is 10, equals m, negative 13 fifths, over x minus x, which is negative 9. And of course, students, we know that a negative negative 9 is a positive 9. That's it. Nothing else to do. That's one answer. Or, if you chose to use this point here, then you would get this answer here. y minus negative 3 equals m, which is negative 13 fifths, x minus negative 4. Of course, negative negative is a positive. Negative negative is a positive. And there we go. So either one of these two answer students would be fine. Okay, numbers 33 through 37. We're going to write an equation in point slope form that passes through this point and has this slope. So here we go. Pretty simple. <coughs> here we go. go. They've already given us a point. They've already given us the slope. So we simply put y minus y, which is negative 2 equals m. My m is 2. And x minus negative 8, like that. Okay? Now, negative negative makes this a positive. Negative negative makes that a positive. 
and we're finished. It's that simple, students. That's point slope form. Okay, students, number 35. Let's write the equation of the line that passes through this point and has the slope, and we're going to write it in point slope form. So y minus <coughs> y, y, which is 4, equals m, which is 6, x minus y x, which is negative 3. Okay? So negative, negative makes this become a positive right there, and we're finished. That's all we have to do. All right? Number 37. students, let's write the linear equation of the line that passes through this point. It has this slope here. So here we go. y minus y, which is a negative 1, equals m, which is 0, x minus x, which is 8. Negative, negative makes this a positive. And we're finished. That simple. Okay? Piece of cake. Alright, the last three, 39, 41, and 43, actually say to write the point slope form of the line, and then also write the equation in slope intercept form. So here we go. Alright? First of all, let's take this uh, information here. Here's my point. Here's my slope, and let's plug this information into my model here. y minus y, which is 4, equals m, which is 2, x minus x, which is 1. Take the 2, multiply it through. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 1. Oh, my fault, guys. Sorry about that. Let's stop right there. So, they want two answers. First, they want the point slope form. So there we go. Point slope form. Okay. There's one answer. Now let's simplify it and get y all by itself. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. Bring your negative 4 over. Make it a positive 4. And y equals x positive 2, and there we go, that's your second answer. Since the y is all by itself, we call that the slope intercept form. Okay? Slope intercept form. Same thing for 41. First of all, we're going to write the linear equation in point slope form, so y minus y, which is 2, equals m, which is 1 half, x minus x, which is 6, and there you go, that's one answer, that's point slope form. Now they want us to get y by itself, so y negative 2 equals 1 half times x is 1 half x, 1 half times negative 6 is negative 3. Bring your negative 2 over, make it a positive 2, and y equals 1 half x, negative 1, and there we go. So we have written the equation of the line that passes through this point and has this slope. We have written that equation in two different forms, the point slope form and the slope intercept form. All right. Okay, moving on to number 43, our last problem. we go. Which 
which is 5. Negative, negative is positive. And there we go. So there's, a, there's one answer there, student. That's the linear equation in point slope form. Now, students, for our last answer, the directions want us to write this equation in slope intercept form, which means we have to get y by itself. So we are going to uh, take negative 1 and multiply it through negative 1 times x, negative 1 x, negative 1 times negative 5, positive 5, bring the positive 1 over, make it the negative 1, and y equals negative x, or negative 1 x if you want, that's up to you, negative x, positive 4, and there we go. That's the equation in slope intercept form, all right? So, Having said that, um, those are your two answers. Okay? So, guys, I hope this homework help video has been a help to you. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me.